Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom 5. So previously we had been talking about the solution, hydration and lattice enthalpies. We came to the conclusion that when gaseous ions would combine to form the solid lattice, it would be known as enthalpy of lattice. When the same solid lattice dissolves in water, it is forming aqueous solution, we call it the solution enthalpy. And if gaseous ions did not make the solid lattice, but they, if, if they dissolved directly in the solution, that would be known as hydration. So that was a good revision for us. Let's label these values again. This is lattice. This over here is solution. And the direct method would have been the hydration of the individual ions, which means hydration of cation and the hydration of anion, depending on how many moles are there. Now moving on. In today's topic, we'll be talking about the solubilities of the group 2 compounds. We'll be talking about the solubilities of group 2 compounds, particularly their sulfates and their hydroxides. We will use the values of the solution, lattice and hydration to see how solubility changes. Our equation was that hydration enthalpy was equal to the enthalpy for lattice formation and then later dissolving the lattice which is known as solution. But here what we will consider is solubility. So we will change our equation to find out the value of solubility and solubility depends on the lattice dissolving. And since the enthalpy for solution governs that, we will make this the subject of the equation. We make this the subject of our equation. So the equation looks something like this. Enthalpy for solution of the compound is equal to the enthalpy for hydrations minus enthalpy for lattice. We need to understand that in order to dissolve something, the solution enthalpy should be more exothermic. If it's more exothermic, then it means it is more soluble compound. Because more exothermic value means that enough energy is released to overcome the lattice. This negative value means more energy is released to basically break the lattice. And what do we mean by breaking the lattice? We mean by overcoming, we mean overcoming the attraction between ions. So what happens here is more exothermic value of solution enthalpy is appreciated for more solubility. If it's less exothermic, if it's less exothermic or let's suppose, or let's suppose even endothermic value then it means less solubility is there. Now moving on to more exothermic values, if we are being optimistic and we want more exothermic values, then hydration enthalpy should be a bigger value and lattice enthalpy should be a smaller value. Achha, always remember there's one thing, all these values are always negative. Let me write that here. All these values are always negative. So bigger hydration and smaller lattice means more exothermic solution and better solubility. But smaller hydration and bigger lattice means less exothermic answer or you can say endothermic. Let's do it with values from data booklet and change them hypothetically to understand how things work out here. So here first we will talk about the solubility. We will talk about the solubility of group 2 sulfates. Notice one thing that when we talk about group 2 sulfates, we remember their um, molecular formula. But we need to appreciate one more thing 
that the size of the cation changes as we go down the group. So here we are concerned with magnesium sulfate, we are concerned with calcium sulfate, CaSO4, strontium sulfate, and finally we have our barium sulfate. We will consider the values for their lattice enthalpy. We will consider the values. Let me write hydration first so that it's easier in our mind to read them and then subtract them. So we are concerned with the hydration enthalpy of the cation of the cation. We are concerned with the lattice enthalpy of the overall ionic lattice and ultimately we will find the solution enthalpy. These are all hypothetical values. We have changed these values to make them easy to read and obviously easy to mathematically manipulate. So moving on, the hypothetical value for magnesium sulfate hydration enthalpy is minus 3600. Then we have minus 2800 for calcium ions, then minus 2000 for strontium ions and minus 1200 for barium ions. Why are they decreasing? They are decreasing for sure. Why are they decreasing? The reason is that as we move down the group, let me make this arrow red. As we go down the group, the size of metal 2 plus ion, which is the cation increases. Or you can say the ionic radii increases, which means less charge density. And when you know less charge density is there, we can predict less enthalpy for hydration and enthalpy for lettuce. So it is not just hydration which is decreasing. You will see very soon that even lettuce values of these metal sulfates will also decrease. Let me write the values. For magnesium sulfate, it's minus 2000. For calcium sulfate, it's minus 1800. For strontium sulfate, it's minus 1600. And for barium sulfate, it's minus 1400. As we move on, you can see it's also decreasing. These values are also decreasing over here. Let me write that. Yeah, decreases. But you can notice one important thing. The drop in the hydration values is bigger than the drop in lattice enthalpy. That is an important point over here. Let me write that point here. The values of enthalpy for hydration decrease more steeply, which means by bigger intervals, the hydration values decrease more steeply by bigger intervals compared to lattice enthalpy. Now what happens as a result of this change, you will see very soon. We will subtract the lattice enthalpy from the hydration values. Remember the formula was lattice should be subtracted from hydration. So we'll do that. When we find the value, let's say, let's pick some other random color. Let's say green seems fine. If minus 3600 minus minus 2000 is done, we get the value of minus 1600, which is exothermic value. When we look at calcium sulfate minus 2800 minus 1800, so that is minus 1000, that is still exothermic value, but lesser exothermic. It is less exothermic, you can see that. When you go for strontium sulfate, it's minus 2000 minus minus 1600. So here we have a gap of only minus 400 units. When we look at barium sulfate, it's 1200, sorry, negative 1200 minus negative 1400. So that is a difference of positive 200 that is rather endothermic.
and endothermic means very less soluble so you can see the exothermicity you can see the exothermic nature is also decreasing you can see these values were more exothermic so magnesium sulfate was more soluble but when we saw barium sulfate it's endothermic which means very less soluble so you can see the values are both decreasing but the value for hydration enthalpy falls more but the enthalpy for lattice enthalpy decreases by smaller quantity now let's talk about the solubilities the solubilities of group 2 hydroxides group 2 hydroxides when we talk about these values we will again first write their formula so for example it starts with magnesium hydroxide then we have with us calcium hydroxide then we got strontium hydroxide and finally we have barium hydroxide let's put them a little lower so that it's easier for us to follow them let me move them here yeah we are concerned with the values of again their hydration obviously the cation because anion is the same so hydration of cation we are concerned with the values for lettuce and obviously then we are concerned with the value of enthalpy for solution again these values are again hypothetical made up values these are again hypothetical values to help you understand because subtraction between uh, multiples of 10 and multiples of 50 are more easier that's why I'm using those values now let's take example the hydration values drop as we have accepted in the previous concept that this is something that's gonna happen size increases so lattice and hydration will decrease that's okay so lattice enthalpy sorry hydration enthalpy values are minus 3600 then in case in case of calcium it's minus 3300 then for strontium it's minus 3000 and then for barium it's minus 2700 you can see they are decreasing no doubt but every time the decrease is almost like 300 units when we move on and talk about the lattice enthalpy the values are somewhat minus 3000 then the value is minus 2400 then the value is minus 1800 and then the value is minus 1200 these values are also decreasing so again there was no doubt about that these values are also decreasing we know the reason the reason are still the same this reason still stands the same size of metal cation increases which means less charge density which means less hydration and less value for lattice enthalpy that is okay but notice one more thing the drop in lattice enthalpy is more here so let's write that the lattice enthalpy values drop more steeply than hydration values then hydration values so they both drop but there's a drop more steeper for lattice with hydroxides and when we talk about solution let's find out when we take the difference so hydration minus lattice what is it it's hydration let me write that it's hydration minus enthalpy for lattice so minus 3600 minus minus 3000 it's going to be minus 600 when we talk about minus 3300 negative 3300 minus negative 2400 so it's going to be almost um, 6 7 8 9 minus 900 then for strontium hydroxide negative 3000 minus negative 1800 
So it's minus 1200 over here. And for barium hydroxide, it's almost like 8. Um, it's going to be 7 and 8. So it's going to be 15 if I'm not wrong. Minus 1500. You can see values are increasing over here. You can see these values are becoming more exothermic as we go down the group. So least exothermic, least exothermic, which means least soluble. And when you notice the one at the bottom, that is the most exothermic, most exothermic, the value of solubility also is most soluble. So in today's video, we talked about the concept of how hydration and lattice difference can help us find solubility. Then we talked about sulfates, we talked about hydroxide. The phenomena of decreasing values is same, but it's about which value decreases more steeply. I hope this clears a lot of concepts. Stay tuned guys, thanks.